Hey guys and welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some summer DIYs. So let's jump into it. First DIY, I'm going to be using some hydrangeas. These are from Dollar Tree and I just love the colors of these because they are super fun for summer. And I'm also going to be using this embroidery hoop. This was a dollar from a garage sale and I thought it'd be really fun to make a giant wreath. I'm also going to be using this Sherbonder glue skillet. This is amazing for flowers and if you're going to do wreaths I absolutely love it. I will link it down below for you guys but I purchased it and I absolutely love it because you just throw like some glue like pellets or balls or whatever they are and it melts right on the top. It is amazing so all I have to do is just dip my flowers in and I kind of did a pattern so I just I think I used 11 or 12 bunches of these flowers but I think this was definitely worth it because this is a really, really large wreath. And I just love the way it turned out. This was really time consuming because it did, it, it's big, it took a while, but I'm just loving the way this turned out. And I love the white and like the peach color and this like teal color for this wreath. And I said wreath a lot. And for the center of the wreath, I'm going to be using this chalkboard. This is from Arteza and I'm going to be using some chalk couture stencil along with this chalk couture paste or this chalkology paste. I love using chalk couture. I've been using it a lot lately. I am a designer, so I will link all these for you in the description box below if you guys want to check it out. But I just love how they're so easy to use. This is just a really relaxing craft for me. So I really like to incorporate it just a little bit more with my videos lately, just because like I said, it's fun and these stencils are reusable. They're just sticky on the back. You can wash them and they stay sticky, which is amazing. Also, this chalk paste is just really nice to use. I love this like pretty like pink color. I will let you guys know exactly what colors these are if you want to check them out. But I just got this when I signed up for Chalk Couture. Uh, but yeah, like I said, this is just a really like relaxing thing to do and you barely use any paste. So a little bit definitely goes a long ways. what it looks like when it is all done and I just took the chalkboard added some twine to the back and just tied it to the wreath and I am loving these colors and I think this is such a pretty summer wreath. Today we are excited to be teaming up with seven talented friends for a viewer scavenger hunt. Let us explain how it works. All eight channels will have a DIY video in a playlist with the link to the playlist in our description box below. Watch all eight videos from the playlist and comment on each video. Each creator will reveal a secret word somewhere during their video. Collect all eight secret words and email them to us at DIYScavengerHunt at gmail.com. The email will be listed in the description box below. We will randomly draw the winner from those who qualify on Saturday, May 15, 2021. The winner will be announced on our community tabs. 
Follow the treasure map through all eight channels and you could win the ultimate treasure of a Cricut Joy and Tool Set. We are sorry, but due to shipping issues, the contest is limited to the continental United States. Good luck, y'all. <laughs> DIY, I'll be using this palette wood piece. This is from Walmart. It was $4.97. I was going to be adding terracotta pots to this, but I changed my mind at last minute. I have this cute sign from Dollar Tree, We Didn't Reap, and then these four wooden boxes from Dollar Tree as well. And I'm just going to be using the hazelnut waverly chalk paint, and I'm going to be mixing it with a little bit of water to make a stain. So this is kind of what it looks like with the stain. It does dry a little bit lighter, but I love this color. I haven't ever used this color, so it was kind of exciting to try out some different colors. And I like to make like my own stain in quotes because it just works a lot better. So if you're new to my channel, I just always just dump some paint with a little bit of water. It can be acrylic paint, it can be chalk paint, it doesn't really matter. Acrylic paint kind of is cheaper, so definitely probably use that. But I loved this color and I wanted the whole palette to be this hazelnut color. Wow. I'm going to repeat words way too often, way too more than I should, way too much. For these wood boxes, I'm gonna be using the Waverly chalk paint and celery. This is one of my favorite colors to use. I also really like using the moss color. It is a lot darker, but these are so pretty. And I just painted all four boxes. I didn't paint the insides. You definitely could if you like the more finished look if you pull out the flowers, but I'm putting greenery and florals in the insides anyways. So you're not even gonna be able to tell. And then once my painting was done, I decided to add some rub-on transfers from Dollar Tree as well. I actually love using rub-on transfers. They just kind of make everything look more pretty and they're super easy to use. I love using them constantly. So these are the ones I chose. These are have cactuses and succulents and all kinds of like just really fun leaves and I just really liked these. So I just kind of chose a few, threw them on the boxes, rubbed them on, peeled them off and good to go. And now I'm just gonna be taking some hot glue and gluing the sign right to the top of this palette piece. And then I will just be gluing the wooden boxes. I ended up actually moving the box later on, having to redo this project because I did not like the way these looked. And I laid them out a hundred times and I changed my mind at last minute, glued it to rip these boxes off. Don't do it. It took off half the back of my box. I had to sand the palette, redo a little bit, and it still like wasn't, it was a mess. So make sure before you glue, you lay these down like four times, get them exactly how you want them, then glue. But in the end, I think these turned out super cute. I just used some florals, some baby's breath, and some eucalyptus from Walmart. I love Walmart's florals. They are the absolute best. So anytime I go there, I try to pick some up because... Walmart just seems to always be empty. I don't know why Walmart's empty with their florals. Obviously people love them just as much as I do, but this is what it looks like when it is all done. And I think this is so stinking cute. You can even put like real herbs in this or succulents and hang it outside. I think this is just a really great, fun spring slash summer piece. DIY is going to be super easy. I'm using three terracotta pots. I'm using the Waverly chalk paint in moss and the Waverly chalk paint in white. And all I did, I started off with just a microfiber cloth and I was just kind of wiping it on. And then I ended up kind of going back because I did not like the way they looked. And I started just kind of dabbing on the paint and it looked so fun and so neat. I kind of thought they looked rustic and I, I loved this like dabbing technique more than the wiping technique, but I wanted to show you both ways just in case you, yeah, just in case you want to try it. Maybe you do like the wiping method more. I just kind of like wiped back and forth, took some paint off, put some paint on. Um, but this dabbing method was just a million percent better. Honestly, you guys, I totally forgot about the secret word. 
So if you guys want to know what my secret word is, now's the time to open your ears. My secret word for this scavenger hunt is dun, 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 sunshine. That is my secret word. Remember it. Write it down. I have to write stuff down or I'm not going to remember it. Anyways, you guys, this is the little wiping technique versus dabbing technique. Like I said, I just put some paint on the microfiber cloth, dabbed it on, and this is kind of what it looked like. And if I didn't like the colors, then I kind of just went back and did it some more. Uh, but I did want like the terracotta color to come out. Anyways, right here you see that I'm using the rub-on transfers once again. These were also from Dollar Tree. And I just thought I would put plant, dig, and grow on these. And you really have to give it some heat, kind of rub it on, all that. These are the hydrangeas I had left over. And I just used some of this like greenery pieces from Dollar Tree as well, shoved it in because it just kind of looked weird and plain, just adding flowers to these pots. But I love the extra greenery. I think this looks pretty. I think these are cute. Super, super easy DIY. If you want to spray these down with some polycrylic, polyurethane, you could leave these outside, put some real plants in them. I actually probably will eventually do that. It's just not warm enough where I live to add real florals outside just yet. But I love the way these pots turned out. DIY, I'll be using three of these wood circles from Walmart. They are 97 cents. And okay, you already see that I have paint on my piece of beautiful cardboard, my beautiful, beautiful background. This is what I use to do the terracotta pots. And I honestly did not want to waste chalk paint because if you guys buy the Waverly chalk paint, you know it's pretty pricey. So this is just the moss and the white chalk paint. And I kind of just mixed it together and then dabbed it on in spots to kind of make it look the way I did. I didn't really have a, a rhyme or reason to this. Some of them looked lighter, so I just kind of dabbed it in the moss colored paint. And yeah, that's kind of how I made it. These little cactus stickers, these came from Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to be painting all of them black. And I don't know what it is about this, but when I painted them black, peeled them off, it kind of left like some really rough edges around. So I did have to like peel all that off. No big deal. It only took seconds, but uh, just to let you know, like, I don't know the paint on the edges just kind of come with it. I, I don't know what's up with these, but I've never used these before. I've never painted them. I've never actually done anything with these, but once they were dry, I just decided to add them on to my little circle plaques. And you can kind of see that they're all different colors and shades. And I really liked that. I thought this was kind of like a super fun little DIY. And although I do show all these in my home, these could definitely be some really fun like summer outdoor like porch decor pieces. Like I said, it's just still pretty rainy and cold. And, you know, I, I'm definitely not going to be putting a whole lot on my porch just yet. Uh, but I thought that I would use these rub-on transfers once again, just to make my DIYs a little more inexpensive. So I thought Stuck On You would be super cute. Using some white ribbon from Dollar Tree, I'm going to be attaching these to make like a long little hanging sign. That's it for this. I thought this was super cute, super easy, and it only took a day to do, which is pretty nice. If you had a blow dryer, you could blow dry everything and it would take seconds. And I always have a little helper. So in the corner, you can see a cute little knee. It is my four-year-old daughter. She always likes to hang out with me and help me out whenever she can. Last one, I'm just going to be taking four of these little succulent boxes from Dollar Tree and gluing them together to make a planner. This seriously took one minute to make. One whole minute. That's it. It was really easy. I love making little planners or like just, I like greener on my home anyways. So I think this was just a really fun DIY to do. And you can have your kids help you do this if you have kids or if you just want to do a quick little craft, this is definitely it. That's all I did. Glue four of these together, threw in some boxwood greenery from Walmart, and there you have it, a super quick DIY. You want to take those stickers off? Totally can. I chose not to because you're not going to be able to see them. That's how I do crafts around here. 
But you guys, that's it for my video. I hope you enjoyed my fun summer DIYs. This will probably be my only summer video of the year besides my outdoor decorating videos, which I absolutely love. Cannot wait for the weather to get warm around here. Um, but yes, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you decide to enter the scavenger hunt giveaway to win a Cricut Joy. Seriously, a Cricut Joy? I don't even have one of those and I would love to have one. But that's it. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe down below and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.